in this his first international tournament to world-class competition seamlessly incredible boxer fifth bout of the tournament here tonight remember it's a perfect 32 in the 51 kilogram flyweight back bracket very tall rangy fighter and yet he uses the shell defense to terrific effect he'll clamp that right forearm and fist above the right side of his head and body as he takes a shot of water, water from Billy Walsh and then tuck his chin behind his left shoulder. Wonderful movement and not a runner, but sticking and moving. Terrific performances so far from Roscoe Hill. Well, that's exactly what he did against Akirov in his, in his semi-finals. Akirov of the Russian Boxing Federation, a little buzzsaw of a fighter, and Roscoe Hill managed to get the better of him. Different challenge in this man, Saken Bibasinov of Kazakhstan. He's been over in my ring most of the time. He was in yours when he beat Hassan by Dusmatov. Massive fight in the first preliminary round, but he got past him by unanimous decision. A win against Eugene Martinez, another terrific fighter, then got past Danarat Sangfet of Thailand. He has got a collection of bronze medals. He got one in the World Championships two years ago. He got one in the Asian Championships earlier this year. And he got another one of the Olympic Games. Now that, by most people's standards, is a terrific return. But it's not what he wants. He wants to go better and get the gold here. So here we go, the opening fight of this second day of the finals of this 2021 Aiba Men's World Championships. That is Saken Bibosinov of Kazakhstan. In the red is Roscoe Hill of the United States. Bibosinov has got that kind of spidery reach when they stand opposite each other in terms of height. There's not a great deal in it. Bibosinov just stooping to the body with the jab, looking to try and find that early on. Great upper body movement there from Hill, just pulling his weight onto the back foot and does exactly the same thing again there. And that will be important against this potential long one-two of Bibosinov, who steps in and tries to find a left to the body. Hill does exactly the same, just lands that right glove downstairs, then catches Bibosinov to the head as well. And he's standing his ground here, Hill. He's daring Bibosinov really to move in on him and try and land that jab and one two, backing his own ability to counter punch, backing himself in terms of his hand speed. And both of them, really, at the minute, pretty much planted in the center of the ring. You never quite know what you're going to get in finals because boxers will study each other. They don't always do what you think they will. Tomoya Tsubo yesterday, he didn't. He stood his ground and let his hands go more than I thought he would produced a terrific performance to take the gold medal. Hill with a right hand on the inside. And again, looking to try and counter, looking to try and score with that right. Walked in behind it a little bit there. But this is an interesting kind of face-off we've got. Bibosinov having to really reach for that left hand. Hill looking to try and score 
with the jab. A little faint with the front foot. A couple of feints from Bibosinov. He's trying to draw something from Hill if he can. Left hand from Bibosinov was a little bit of a slap, maybe. Hill sparring with the jab. Bibosinov just wary of the counter. Throws the left straight down the middle. The one two may be just about reached. Hill tries to come back with a right hand off the ropes. It's kind of nip and tuck this opening round. Roscoe Hill, I think probably just shading it in terms of the, the cleaner blows. Difficult to tell if that right hand landed. If it did, it was right at the end of its journey there from the man in red. Final 30 seconds. People seen of had him on the ropes there and aimed the left. Just short with a the jab there, Hill. As Ron was outlining, it's been a pretty meteoric rise in this competition. He's just looked so confident, like he was born to this stage. Lots of the American fighters have looked like that. A lot of them are very, very young. Jab to the body there from Hill, and then the combination back from Bibosinov. Tight round, tight, very, tight round. Very tight round. Terrific skill from both boxers. So similar in terms of how they're approaching this one. I happen to think that flurry at the end will tilt it in favour of Bibosino, but a very tight round. Terrific skill from both of them. Both of them enjoying success in their territory. Well, it's 10-9 across the board and 1-10-8. Now, I find that extraordinary. That Roscoe Hill has been put on the end of a 10-8 round. That's how the judge from Germany has seen it, which I find absolutely staggering because prior to the closing seconds, both men enjoyed success in their preferred territories. Roscoe Hill with the backhand, but then just a little more variety on the work of Bibosinov. And inside the 10 second clapper, he scored with a right jab that jolted the man in red's head back. But I didn't see a 10 8. I thought it was very close. I thought Roscoe Hill acquitted himself very well, but I did think it was Bibosinov's round. I think that's a very fair assessment. I thought you're right, maybe towards the end there, the, the flurry at the end could have just sealed it for Bibosinov. The first half of the round, I think, was Hills. The second half of the round, more Bibosinovs. A little bit of a simplistic breakdown, but I definitely didn't see the 10-8. So into the second round, Bibosinov just finding his range better towards the end of the first, but that's good from Hill. Jab to the body, right hand upstairs, not the head back. So there's no way that our scoring judges wouldn't have seen that one at at ringside and the easier it is to see a punch land the better it is for the fighter who throws it Hill just stoops throws that right hand to the body now what will we see from him because he's dropped that first round across the board will he feel like he has to do something different or will he feel that it was very close he just needs to stick to the plan do it a bit better and he can turn this around it looks like the latter at the moment hanging on that back foot again there Hill looking to try and find that right hand, Bibasinov just leans in with the head, he offers the head a little bit and got caught on it there with a left hand from Hill gets the guard up this time Bibasinov and again it's that kind of face off neither one of them, you get the impression really wants to lead off here they would both prefer to counter, certainly Hill although he takes the right hand to the body there that was on offer. Bibosinov hasn't thrown for quite some time. Just standing on the borderline of range, let his hands go there, but didn't land midway through the round. And again, this is very, very close. Left hand to the body from Bibosinov, but the right hand came back from Hill. And again, that's another solid, clean shot. Goes downstairs with the right hand. Bibosinov just pulls off that backhand a little bit, doesn't send it shooting straight down the middle. lands with that one though stepped in there nicely threw it hard down the middle into the body the Kazakh fighter he's in the blue Sakhen Bibosinov hoping to put a gold medal alongside that Olympic bronze his world championship bronze from two years ago as well left to the body there from Bibosinov and in the final minute of the round maybe he's just coming more into it here as he did in that opening round a strong finish is always a good thing because what judges have seen most recently is human nature that can leave an imprint when it comes to pushing that button on the panel in front of them into the final 30 seconds. We've seen of just moving with that head, chops down on the left hand, shorten that up, then goes with the left to the body. 
lands a combination right at the end of the round there. Hill comes back, though, with a, a good-looking right hand followed by a left. He needs this round, remember, Roscoe Hill. He dropped the first round with all five of the judges, 10-8 with the German judge. He needs this one badly. Has he done enough to get it? I don't think he has. I think he's boxed very well once again, but I think the tenor in which he's going about his boxing by sticking what served to what served him well on the back foot, looking for that pot-shotting right cross. He had his successes, but I just think this man had more of them. And were more often than not, those successes coming on the front foot, two rounds in the book, both of them scored unanimously. Thought Roscoe here was really unfortunate to concede that 10-8 in the opening round. Probably slightly less fortunate not to come away with anything, maybe a 4-1 or a 3-2. But he's in a real difficult position now because, again, that's a good right cross that he landed. And he had his successes with those shots, but it was the, the cross and the backhand from Bibosinov with him being on the front foot as well. And that, of course, is Roscoe Hill's style to box off the back foot. But that left cross, I think, was a really effective shot for the man in blue, and he showed good variety with it. Difficult task for the man in red now. Very difficult. It's been a good fight. It's been a high-level technical fight, which is exactly what you would expect on this kind of stage. It's been very close, I think, both of those two rounds, very close. And Hill has, has stuck to that method. It's worked for him up until now. He hasn't tried to really change things. Takes a right to the body there. People seen off with a, with a good looking jab. And then punch the body with the left hand and then just tippy tapping a little bit and then throwing the left hand strong. You look at the weight there of the Kazakh. He's got quite a wide split stance, but he can pull that weight onto the back foot nice and easily. Hinges at the waist, offers that head a little bit as he does there as a target, but he can pull that back out of range. Nice and quick should he need to. So he's a well set up fighter, they both are. And this has been a good battle, but Hill's got to do something pretty epic in this final couple of minutes if he's going to turn this one around. Bibasinov squared to the ropes there, well he's back to the ropes. Hill just steps off a little and allows him out. There are the little feints with the, the front foot from Bibasinov. Looks to try and get onto the jab. And again there, just poised right on the borderline of, of range. And that's what this fight has been like. They've been within punching distance almost all of the time. Just twitching, staring each other down. Seeing who will blink first. Throws that longish one too there, Bibasinov. I don't think the left hand got through absolutely clean. Hill, for the first time, really walks in on Bibasinov and tries to let his hands go. He came a little bit, a little bit square. That's not really his game, and you could you could see that it's not from the way that the the way that he went about that. Into the final minute, nice right hand there from Hill. Just clipped Bibasinov as he showed maybe a little bit too much of that head to his opponent. But this has been a good display from the Kazakh. It's been a good display from both fighters. Bibasinov is going to get it. He's won those first two rounds. Nice uppercut there from Hill. Measured that really, really nicely. And I think he's going to win this third and final round as well. Combination on the inside. But Roscoe Hill has certainly exceeded expectations. Bibasinov came here. His mission was clear. He's been quite intense this week. He admits it himself. This second week of the tournament particularly. That opening fight against Hassan Boy Dusmartov, when we saw the draw and we saw that, we couldn't quite believe it. Dusmartov returning to Aiva boxing for the first time in a, in a long time, but an Olympic gold medalist, winner of the Val Barker Trophy in, in Rio. It was an unbelievable way to start, but there goes the, the final bell, and it's going to be Bibasinov who gets the win, goes over to congratulate the USA corner. Terrific tournament from both of these two. Roscoe Hill is boxed out of his skin, really to end up with a silver medal. But as I said, Bibasinov's been a man on a mission. He's come here determined and mindset on one thing and one thing only. And you could kind of see that steely resolve in him, particularly this second week of the tournament, I think. Very good series of performances right from his opening bout in a round of 32. And he carried it through all the way to the final. Concentration, absolute. David Diamante up into the ring to make the announcement, which we feel 
We'll see Sakun Bibosinov crowned as the new flyweight world champion after a very good display against the American rookie Roscoe Hill. Very good display indeed from Roscoe Hill as well in his first international tournament, boxing his way all the way through to contest championship gold here in Belgrade. David Diamante is in position. Let's get the verdict. Bibasinov gets it, as we knew he would. And that final round has gone his way as well. So just a little smile there from him. Three rounds to nil with all five of the judges. That 10-8 in, in there, of course, in the first round. And that's Kazakhstan's second gold medal. They've done well in the lower weight so far. Tamir Tashisupov got one at minimum weight. And now Bibasinov has picked one up at flyweight. Very good performance, as I say, he he had it tough with that draw against Uzmatov early on, Eugene Martinez as well at a relatively early stage, the quarterfinals. No seeding, of course, it would have been impossible to have seeding in this competition, given the increase to 13 weight categories. But what a year he's had back in May, got a bronze at the Asian Championships, then a bronze at the Tokyo Olympics, and now a gold at the World Championships and 100,000 US dollars to boot. And Roscoe Hill with 50,000 US dollars as well and a silver medal. So I'm sure this is something he'll look back at fondly in years to come. A few tears coming there, I think. Relief might be the overriding emotion because I know he did put himself under a lot of pressure over the last couple of weeks. And next up, we go into the featherweight division.